Hey, what's going on guys? Vape Man Dan here, and uh, just finished recording the Lycan, so we're going to go ahead and record another one. We're going to have a, a double header tonight for recording. Uh, so today, right now, we are going to talk about the Copper Nimish. What is a Copper Nimish, you ask? Uh, well, this is the Copper Nimish, and if you look at it, it is uh, looks exactly like a Nemesis, but it's copper. Uh, you'll notice there are no markings on it. There are no logos, there are no numbers, there are no names on it. Uh, what happened with this is a guy said, you know what, I really like the style of the Nemesis. Uh, I really like copper. Copper has been a very common thing. Of course, we've seen the Ember mod come out, the, uh, the Iron mod, the Copper mod. Uh, we've got the Anatolian. Um, copper is becoming a very popular thing right now. So the guy said, you know what, I like the Nemesis, I like copper. Uh, he found someone to make it for him uh, and... Uh, commission I think he's getting these made in China uh, and uh, definitely the thing that I you know I, I'm not a clone guy I don't get behind the counterfeits I don't get behind the clones uh, but this you know I, I'm, I'm okay with this and I'll tell you why these aren't being sold for 60 bucks they're not being sold for 40 bucks they're being sold for 25 bucks plus the shipping so coming out of pocket you're looking at like 34 35 dollars for one you've got several options with it you can get a full 18650 tube you can get a full 18490 tube instead of doing the extensions you can get the spare parts with it you can get a brass uh, tube you can get a stainless steel tube so you can really kind of customize this to get what you want um, you can get spare uh, lock rings uh, and caps as well. Now, I've got the first version of this. This was sent to me for review as well as a list of things that have been uh, updated on it. Now, I've been running this in 18650 mode. Uh, I have a plethora of 18650 batteries, so I was an 18490 guy. I was printing it in pretty much everything. Then we had an MNKE uh, 18650 group buy, and now I'm just swimming in 18650, so that's what I've been running everything in. I've had no issues with that in 18650. Uh, looking over the notes, 18490, there were some issues on the first run with the 18490 extension tube. Uh, that has been fixed. Uh, there was just an issue with that that it wasn't working properly. So that has been fixed. Uh, second thing, the lock, the kick ring, okay, the kick ring was not threading properly. Uh, and uh, what would happen is when you threaded the lock, uh, the um, uh, kick ring on it was leaving a gap and also it, it doesn't have the extended pins so you weren't able to really use it unless you were actually using a kick or a two cent fuse okay uh hasn't been a problem for me because i don't see any need to use the kick ring um because i don't use a kick you've got your airflow control ring Okay, just like on your Nemesis, it's got little markings there. You can line that up, do that how you like. It comes with the 18650 extension. It comes with the 18490 extension. It comes with the lock ring. Uh, let's look at it on the bottom here. Okay, let's take this apart. Your switch is, is exactly like a standard Nemesis. Okay, you've got your threading, you've got your spring in there, and you've got your pin here. Okay, it's even got the little pin in there like a standard Nemesis. One of the things that I've noticed while I've been using this is this contact pin has started to come loose a little bit. It hasn't been a big issue, but every once in a while, every other day or so, I'll need to screw it back down in. Uh, not really, ha has not really been an issue for me, uh, but it has been there. On the latest run, uh, this brass section has been changed to copper to help with the overall conductivity of it. Uh, the threadings on this, uh, it is my understanding, will thread onto a Nemesis. Same with the locking ring. Uh, I've not tried it on a Nemesis. I actually just got rid of my Nemesis um, not long ago, so I did not get a chance to compare them. Uh, the threads up here for the tubes, uh, these threads will not uh, thread into a Nemesis, is my understanding. If we look at our top cap, Let's go ahead and take our top cap off here. All right. This should be familiar. You've got your adjustable pin right there. Okay, so you can adjust it so it fits with your atomizer. Okay. Uh, the pins are silver plated brass. Uh, they've got great conductivity on this. We'll do a voltage drop test here. 
right? Okay, 4.06 uh, is our voltage. Let's take an atomizer. What shall we use? Let's go ahead and take the uh, Dudenberg here. Uh, this is actually what I've been running on here is the Dudenberg. Uh, 0.75 ohms, 72, 0.72 ohms. I was looking at it in the mirror, mirror there. 0.72 ohms. And our voltage drop, so let's write this down. We were at 4.06 volts on the battery. Under load, we were coming in at 3.87. All right, let's uh, do some quick math on that. So we're going to take 4.06 minus 3.87 is 0.19 voltage drop. I'm going to go ahead and say it's pretty excellent voltage drop. 0.19 at a uh, 0.7 ohm sub ohm uh, atomizer. I am just going to thread this onto here so I can take a little bit of a vape on it. All right. Now you'll see I got a little bit of an opening there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not sitting quite flush. Okay. The way that I typically do this is I just like to take things apart at the extensions. And then I'll just take my finger and unscrew it that way, then screw it back up. that in there and we'll take a little vape here there we go now one thing I will say about this okay I like the look of copper I like the patina that it starts to take on with it. It's just a nice looking thing. All right, one of the things I've noticed, the, this, this style switch is inherently thin, okay? It's kind of like a little cap that's here uh, with your threading in there. So on the very first day that I had this, okay, I'm typically one that's very good with my mods. I, I've been vaping for over two years. I, and I've only dropped things a handful of times. I'm normally pretty good about stuff. I've never even broken a glass tank, okay? Um, I've had one break, and that was I let a friend use it while we were at VaporCon because he needed a mod. I was busy, so I said, here, uh, just, you know, we'll catch up in a little while. When he came back to me, my tank was broken. I was very upset. But the very first day that I had this, I had it sitting on my desk. I only had it for a couple hours. Okay, uh, I had the Aqua on it with the uh, 1700 fabricator strip tip and didn't have it sitting in my cup holder. My arm caught the top of the drip tip. It tumbled off the desk and you can see I've got these like dents on the bottom of it. Um, it landed on the bottom and now it's not even. Now I've tried to flatten it out. I took some pliers. I pushed it against the desk. So you can see if I set this up, okay, it's sitting there. Okay, it's sitting there. It's actually sitting there. Wow. Uh, normally it'll tip right over, but it, it's not very stable. Okay, so I will say that about the copper. Uh, if you're prone to dropping things a lot, this might not be your mod. Considering the price point, right at 30 bucks, go for it. But if you're prone to dropping things, I, I don't know that I'd recommend a copper mod for you. Just saying. Uh, other than that, uh, this thing's pretty solid. Uh, it's a great little, uh, you know, great little mod. Uh, if you're looking for something around that 30 bucks, uh, this is a great one to do. The button's a little crunchy um, occasionally. Uh, it hasn't been a big issue for me. Uh, I've kind of felt that was the, the case with most every Nemesis I've used, though, uh, even with the magnets installed. So mm, that's going to be kind of your thing to decide. Uh, but I, I've enjoyed it. It's a nice little mob.
There is a group buy going on for these right now. That is how you're going to get a hold of these is through group buy. Uh, I've seen it posted so far in two places. I've seen it on legit group buys and co-ops, and I've seen it on 1.1 1 .1, uh, group buys and vape trading. Those are two groups that I've seen the group buy posted on. Uh, nice guy, uh, Michael Harrell. Ugh, sorry, Mike. Uh, I believe is his last name. Uh, he's running real nice guy, uh, real nice guy to talk to. And uh, check it out. Uh, I recommend one. Uh, if this is the only mod that you're going to get, it's going to perform well. Uh, if you if you take care of your things, you're not someone that drops it, and you're only looking to get one mod around that thirty dollar price range. Go for it. You're going to have a good time. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent voltage drop. If you're someone that's prone to dropping things and you're only looking for one mod that's kind of have to get through everything, as much as I like this mod, I can't say this is going to be the mod for you. I'd recommend getting something that's stainless steel um, or even brass. Uh, the copper is just not a good place for you to go. But if you take care of your things or if it's not going to be your only mod, um, I, I highly recommend this mod. It hits really well. It's not going to take a chunk on your, on your wallet. Uh, and uh, it looks nice. So, that's it, guys. Peace.